everybody. I'm Pat Monticelli, the President and CEO of the Broomfield Area Chamber. Thank you for joining us for this Chamber Member Spotlight. And joining me today, we are doing a spotlight on Elevations Credit Union, and Jason Howard, a mortgage loan officer with Elevations, is joining us. Jason, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for the time. So let's just start with a little bit about you. Um, how long have you been with Elevations, and how long have you been in the mortgage business? Sure. Yeah. So I've been with Elevations for almost two years now. Uh, I have been a mortgage loan officer for 21 years. I started back in 03, um, kind of moved my way kind of up the, es the escalator of company to company, uh, made my way through the, the collapse in 2008. I moved to Colorado in 2012 and uh, was with my previous company for almost 10 years before I decided to make a, a big upgrade and came over to Elevations. Perfect. And of course, Elevations is one of our chamber members, one of our longtime supportive members. What attracted you to Elevations? Yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. From the first probably two weeks I'd been here, this this felt like my the company I worked for before the collapse, which was just home. It was the best company I worked for. Um, when I started looking around, I had a couple of different options, but Elevations kept coming back to me really because of two things. First off was because of the reputation that Elevations has, especially in the real estate community. Um, Elevations Credit Union is the number one lender in Boulder County, number two in Larimer, number three in Broomfield, um, which is where a lot of our focus is. And a lot of the realtors and the partners who have worked with Elevations just view it very highly because of the way we treat not only our members, our borrowers, but also our partners. Um, and that was probably my biggest draw, just having a little bit of a different approach from the big banks, the smaller mortgage brokers, just really, really being centralized and focused on both sides of it, both the, the real estate partner side, as well as the actual buyers and borrowers. When we talk about mortgage lending, you know, right now in the, uh, in, in, there seems to be a lot of movement in the mortgage uh, business, a lot of movement in the real estate markets. Um, what is it like being in your business right now? It's it's interesting. I mean, it's the only time I've, you know, again, going back to 2008 was a very, very similar time. There has been a lot of attrition um, in the last year, year and a half. A lot of loan officers have moved out of the industry, stopped being loan officers, a lot of whom just started being loan officers in 2020 when COVID broke out and rates were in the twos. And if you had a pulse, you could have been successful in mortgage during COVID. Um, and so times have gotten a lot of tougher and it, it takes a different kind of approach. It takes a lot more patience, but especially I think it's a lot more important right now to be having conversations, especially with a lot of first time home buyers like I work with a lot and specialized with that you kind of have to set the expectations of it could take a little while for you to have a house. Even with where rates are, there's still so much competition because there's not enough houses here in Colorado, Denver Metro, the entire state. And so it's a situation where it's preaching the patients that it might take three, five, 10, 12 or more offers before you get an offer accepted on a house and not to get discouraged explaining why these things are happening. So people know a bit better what they're actually coming into. And you might have touched a little bit on this um, in, in the answer to the last question, but if, if I'm in the, if I'm looking for a mortgage lender as a customer, um, Tell me what it is that um, I should be looking for and, and what does elevations do to really stand out in, as you mentioned, what can be a very crowded mortgage lending, crowded mortgage lending field. Yeah, I, I would say that in the time I've been here in Colorado, I feel especially over the last couple of years, there's been a shift in the eyes of realtors. So if you're in a position where you're trying to make an offer on a house, I've had a couple of occasions in just the last year where people have made an offer on a house and the listing agent said, you know what, I really want you to work with somebody local. I don't want to work with Quicken Home Loans because I can't reach their person in Detroit on a Saturday. Um, I don't want to work with Zillow Home Loans because I can't consistently reach their loan officers. So more and more of the realtors are looking to kind of drive that to the more local feel, which I think is kind of we're the poster child for that. Even though we don't have the biggest footprint in all of Colorado, it's a growing footprint. And each time somebody works with Elevation, they're like, wow, this is really impressive. I see you're submitting an offer on my listing. You have an elevations letter. I've worked with them. They're fantastic. This is a good way I'm going to talk to my sellers about. When it comes to uh, home buying uh, customers, uh, do you see more, or is there a difference? Do you see more of the uh, the customer that has found a home and then now needs the mortgage? Or do you look at somebody that, or do you see more people that look for the mortgage 
um, before they go shopping? Or is there a particular order there? I don't think so. I think we say a see a pretty even split between the two. Um, a lot of times it's the people who are buying their second, their third, their fourth, their fifth house. They've, they've been through the rodeo before and they're just looking for something unique, something specific. They're buying a condo that is having restrictions and they can't get a loan from anywhere. Um, and we may be able to help in that circumstance. They're looking at a house that's $1.4 million and they've got to sell their house first before they have enough money to buy this house. We have options that can go to higher price points with lower down payments and we accompany a lot of that transitional purchase. We do an awful lot of those here at Elevations because some of our programs. So it's a pretty even split, I'd say, between the two. Um, just kind of because you have so many people still coming into Colorado as well as people that have been here a long time are trying to get out of their golden handcuffs. And we know, you know, all in the news, especially for the last um, maybe up to a year, maybe a year plus, um, interest rates have been a, a big talking point. Um, what is the market looking like right now? Are you seeing a slowdown in, in customers? Or are things starting to pick back up? What's the temperature right now? It's interesting you say that just today, the, the Federal Reserve came out literally about an hour ago. Um, there was a good inflation report today and the Federal Reserve came out and said, yeah, it was good. We still want to see better. And really, it's been a pinball effect. We see a week straight where we have six straight days of rates decreasing. And then one big one day, the market flips and we lose all of our gains that we've had over the last week. We just went through that a week ago. So overall, things are really kind of on an average. If you're looking at about a three to four month snapshot, we're not seeing a whole lot of movement until really the Federal Reserve comes and starts making some moves on rates. We're probably going to continue to see that kind of stagnation where it's a little bit changed day over day, but in the big picture, not real significant week and week over month over month. If I'm coming to you as, as a customer, as a, somebody who's looking for a mortgage, um, what do I need to bring with me? What should I be prepared to get to bring to you information wise to get processes started? Absolutely. I think the first thing is bring your questions. Uh, I think that ultimately it's, you don't find out, you don't know what you really don't know until you have the conversations. Um, and the one thing that I've said for quite some time is regardless when you're going into this process, you're whether you're refinancing or you're looking to buy your first home, whatever the case is, the most important things are, are twofold in this market is that number one, you got to make sure that who you're working with is answering your questions so that you understand them. You know, they're not talking too fast. They're going over your head, things like that. They're not getting frustrated if you're repeating yourself because you didn't catch it the first time. And I think even just as important is they're working on your time frame. And when we're in a situation where a house goes on the market and the first weekend you've got seven, eight offers, if you're going out Friday at 530 and you want to see it and you want to put in an offer, you got to have somebody who's available. Um, you know, can get you pre-approved in an hour if you need to, can get you a, a, a letter when you're ready to make that offer. Um, because it's that fast here in Colorado, if you're in Denver Metro, it's just the houses fly off and a lot of people say, oh my gosh, this is even on the market. I want to get ahead of this. Can I get pre-approved right now? Um, can I get a letter and, and talk with these buyers before it hits the market? You're not going to see that with a lot of your big, huge lenders that are, you know, your kind of call center type environment where they're on their schedule. They don't have the overtime because the volume doesn't promote it. Or you're kind of your Monday to Friday, eight to five. How am I going to get a letter from you if I see a place at Saturday at four o'clock? So you want to have those conversations with the lender. How is their communication? Are you clicking with them? And are they available when you need them? Those are two of the biggest things. I think those are more important than what actually paper you need. Are they going to meet your needs when the time comes? Right. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, maybe questions that I didn't ask. Absolutely. I, I mean, I think that having been a loan officer for 21 years, I've worked in all environments. I've worked in those call centers. I've worked for the largest nationwide lenders. I've done loans in all 50 states. And through 21 years, there's not a whole lot that I haven't seen, haven't experienced. And, I, and those are things that I'm really committed to the over communication of, hey, this might be a question. Hopefully it's not, but this could be an issue. This is something we might run into down the road. I don't want to instill the fear of, you know, thunder and lightning on anybody, but I feel like I'm not doing my best job if I'm not saying this is something you could run into, especially if you've never been through the process before. And the things I've seen, even in the 12 years I've been in Colorado, uh, definitely providing wealth of experience, especially for people who might be in a little tricky circumstance, might be looking at a property that's a little bit outside the box, outside the norm, or have just never been through it before. So we'll end with one final question. Um, just to kind of reiterate, uh, 
if if you were if you're talking to customers, what is what is the elevations difference? Yeah, I think the elevations difference is that we take care of both sides of the transaction. Personally speaking, I've specialized working with first timers for about 18 years. I'm committed to over communication. I'm committed to making sure that I am setting you up to be a successful homeowner, not just in the coming weeks before you close, but after that. I'm calling you six months, I'm calling you a year, I'm calling you every single year. I'm making sure that as situations change, if you're in a situation where you're buying a house next week at 7% and we see rates come down to five, I'm on the phone with you saying, hey, it might be smart to take a look at it. I'm committed to over communicating today all the way through, as long as you are in need of something. And even if you're not in need of something, I'm here to help. Fantastic. Jason, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thanks, Pat. I appreciate it so much. And again, this has been a Broomfield Area Chamber Member Spotlight on Elevations Credit Union. If you are a Chamber member and would like to either submit a spotlight video or do a spotlight interview like this, reach out to us at info at broomfieldchamber.com, and we will give you the details on how to make that happen. We'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>